Starting again Children's Home International, found in Kitengela, is a home of vulnerable children. Children coming from different backgrounds are found here. Those that are destitute, abandoned, orphans, and street children. This home is a rescue center for children who have suffered from domestic violence, HIV AIDS, drug and substance abuse, poverty, divorce, and bad leadership. After many of those children finding themselves in this home, they have been provided with initialities, food, safe drinking water, clothing, education, spiritual guidance, and parental love. <laughs> God makes things beautiful at all in their time. Why if I talk about your beautiful, it's not your time. I take a fun. You know what I mean? Kuna vitu na wazaka kupata na zika efan. You know what I mean? Kama mefadi kwa na mnyelo watu kipara. I mean, need your children. What una zaka kuite yokito? Joshua Mutuko Mudengi. He decided to help the society by taking care of vulnerable children. He learned that very many families suffer due to economic imbalance and levels of poverty. Kwa majina naitwa Joshua Mutuko na nimeokoka niko na miaka 30 years na mimi ndiye founder Sprouting Against Children's Home International ambayo kwa sasa hivi iko na watoto eh, 83 na tunaendelea vizuri tunaweza kusema na um, ninaweza kuelezea um, kidogo my story venye nimejipata kwa kazi ya watoto sababu nilijipata tu kwa ku, kuingi ku, wacha niseme ni, Mungu aliniita aliniita nifanye kazi ya watoto na haikuwa rais hapo mwanzo although nilikuja kukubali baadaye ya kwamba ni wito na lazima ningefanye hiyo kazi So nikiwa kijana mdogo nyumbani nimesema naitwa Joshua Mutuku. E, nikiwa na miaka kumi na nane. Nilipatikana tu na passion ya kusaidia watoto yatima ama watoto ambao walikuwa hawana uwezo kwa maisha yao. Na kwa sababu kwetu hakukuwa e, na mali wala vitu za kuona na macho. Nilianza na m, kufanya vibarua. Nimetoka Makueni area inaitwa Emali place inaitwa e, Mulala hapo ndiyo nyumbani kwetu e, village inaitwa Udangadhi so e, now e, wakati passion iliingia ndani yangu ya kulea watoto ama kusaidia watoto nilikuwa tunaifanya asifu ni kitu ambacho kilikuwa kinapita tu nilikuwa naenda nafanya kazi huko kwetu kuna mashamba kubwa ninalima then after kulima ile pesa kidogo nilikuwa napata ninaenda kwa watoto kwa na village naenda na nunua bail hapo Emali town zile zinaitwa kamera mtumba naenda na wagawia gawia watoto wawili watatu wanapata nguo then i used to pray with them ninawaombea alafu narudi kwetu nyumbani so my mama akakuja akaniuliza what is this hii kitu unafanya iko namna gani because my mama ameokoka akajua kwamba ni kama Mungu alikuwa ananielekeza nilie watoto So eh, akaanza kuniombea. Akaanza kuniombea na kunitia moyo. And then eh, by the grace of God it happened 2009 somewhere there December. Nikapata kazi Machakos kama manager wa hostels. So nilipokuja Machakos kama manager wa hostels eh, nikapata kazi, nikaanza kazi kama manager na um, nilikuwa tuna pay accommodation watoto ambao walikuwa nakosa accommodation kwa shule college university wanakuja wanalipa hapo wanalipa kama manager then naangalia usafi na vitu zingine so nikiwa hapo nikaanza kusikia cases za watoto ambao walikuwa yatima ambao eh, hawana accommodation but wamelipiwa school fees now so hiyo pika ikafanya pia ni nianze ni kuconnect na nyumbani kwenye nilikuwa nafanya so um, ni, 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 when, 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 wakati nilitulia nikasema ya kwamba 
kwa nini nisianze kitu inaitwa feeding program kwa street nianze kwenda kupikia watoto yatima na um, uh, watoto this time round watoto ambao ni wa street wale wanaitanga chokora street no na um, wengine ambao pia wana uwezo wa kwa street so nikakuja kwa ile kanisa nilikuwa nimejoin hapo machakos nika approach pastor nikamwambia niko na passion nataka kusaidia watoto na nikamwambia ninasikia nikielekezwa tena tuanze na street so pastor akanishika mkono akanipea wamama wengine hapo ambao tulikuwa tunaenda nao tunanunua chakula tunaenda tunapika kwa street tunafeed watoto tunawaosha this on sunday after service then tunaenda nyumbani so tukaendelea 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 now 20 this 2010 2010 kikaribia kuisha nikafikiria kwa nini uh, tufanya feeding program kwa street na tunaacha watoto kwa street na ukiacha mtoto kwa street ya somi akiwa mgonjwa wengine walikuwa nakufa kwa street sababu ya mvua nini so nikajiuliza kama nitakuwa tu nafanya feeding program peke yake haitakuwa inatoa ile picha ambayo naona ndani ya there is that picture that i see ya kwamba watoto wamewachukua mwapeleka nyumbani wamepata chakula wamepata malazi wamepata eh, mavazi wakiwa gonjo na wapeleka hospitali that another picture ile ambayo ilikuwa ndani yangu so nikaanza kufikiria kwa nini nisianze children's home and because i was a very young man somewhere 21 20 hapo eh, mchungaji akaniambia kwamba hiyo itawezekana kabisa because you are so young not married and all that Uh, kukuwa na resources kuanza kuenda kukodisha mahali nyumba kuanza children's home it was an issue so akaniambia kwamba yeye anafikiria this uh, may not be the right time to establish an a children's home but now to me kwa sababu nilikuwa na hisi msukumo nikasema ya kwamba is like ni kama ana anakataa niki nikianzisha children's home so mimi nika um, nikaendelea kidogo na feeding program and then in the year 2012 nikajaribu kukodisha nyumba mahali machako nianze children's home nikiwa sana nimejificha then siku mmeko sababu ya um, some expense ni bills kama kulipa rent vitu mingi kunitakana wafanyikazi so nikaisi ya kwamba sita make this time round now in my mind nilikuwa na ma, eh, mawazo ya kufanya biashara so nikawa nasikia town inaitwa Kitengela 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 na siku moja nikaamua wacha nikuje tu Kitengela nione ni town ya ina gani. So siku moja nikatembea Kitengela, nilipofika Kitengela nikaona ni town mzuri na nikarudi tena eh, Machakos nikaenda nika resign ile kazi nilikuwa nafanya na nikaamua kuanza kufanya biashara sasa nikijitegemea sasa. So nikaanza biashara ya makao although nilianza at the river kuna my friend kutoka nyumbani alikuwa anakaa at the river akani host kwake nikauzauza makaa hapo nikasikia atheriva ni kama sijakubali sana so nikaamua wacha nione kwa sababu nilikuwa already nimeenda kitengela let me go and kitengela nione venye naweza fanya biashara huko so wakati nikuja kitengela ika happen nikapanana na rafiki wangu hapa kitengela a guy from western akaniambia kwamba anaitwa John Mukusi ya kwamba ni amishio biashara hapa um, kitengela ndio inaweza kufanya vizuri kuliko atheriva so nikakuja nikahamisha zile makaa zote nilikuwa na capital kubwa nilikuwa na capital almost ya 300,000 nikiuza magunia hii wholesale so nikahamishia hapo mahali kunaitwa Modena kwa njia ya kwenda EPZ hapo ndio nikakuja nikaanza kuuzia makaa hapo nikauza makaa nikauza makaa but in my mind in my spirit nilikuwa nasikia kwamba kuna kitu ambacho nafaa kuwa nikifanya apart from business apart from kufanya kitu ambacho kinani benefit mimi mwenyewe nilikuwa nasikia kuna kitu kingine Mungu ametenga kufanya special ambao nafaa nifanye kwa ajili ya watu ambao wajiwezi so nikajaribu kuangana na biashara nasikia yeye through there's no breakthrough in that business so nikapambana and then uh, <clears throat> one day nikasikia sauti ya Mungu kiniambia kwamba now leave this business go and serve my children watoto wa Mungu walikuwa wanateseka niambia leave this business go and serve my children. Kwa sababu mimi nilikuwa najiangalia kama mwanadamu. Nikauliza sasa niko na pesa kidogo sana kwa kujiangalia. Kwa nini sasa hii Mungu aniambie niache biashara yangu ambayo inaanza hata kule kusasi kunifanya hata niendelee kusaidia watoto. Kwa nini niache hiyo biashara niende kufanya kazi ya Mungu ambayo hakuna mtu ananilipa. 
na hakuna mahali niko ni, siko sure ya kwamba nikianza you know unajua vitu za Mungu sasa ni imani na Mungu ameongea na wewe so where do i start Joshua Mutuko Mudengi has been working hard to provide a solution His vision is to eradicate children from streets and others getting relevant help. Our vision is to make sure we have zero street in Kenya. Make sure Kenya hakuna mtoto ambaye kwa street na hii ni kupitia kwa serikali na well wishers, donors or sponsors. Kwa sababu if you have a vision lazima kukuwa na watu ambao mtafanya kazi nao. So me I'm trusting God ya kwamba nitapata na nitapata eh, nitapata nafasi ama chance ya kuweza kuongea na serikali ama na one leader ni mpe my vision na aweze kuibai na nimweze venye tunaweza kumaliza watoto on street Kenya kabisa huko Kenya awezi kupata mtoto akirandaranda kwa street i have that one in my mind vile anaweza kutoa watoto wote kwa street kabisa in Kenya that vision I have it in me and I have also the strategy we naweza kutoa kila mtoto kabisa ukuwe ni zero street in Kenya na hii haiwezi kutimika bila kufanya kazi na serikali ya Kenya na well wishers ambao wataona hii kitu tunafanya ni mzuri na italetee our country respect eh? italetee nchi yetu heshima kuona kama president akitembea mahali hawezi kuona mtoto wa street in town and in every town unaona na pia tutakuwa tunaweza ku, ku, kumaliza wahuni ambao ni wakesha kwa sababu wale watu ambao wengi wa katika kwa street ndio wanaanza kusumbua serikali. Kwa hivyo tunapomaliza hao watoto wakuwe mahali, wanasoma, wanapata samadha course ya kuwasaidia in life. Unaona serikali ya Kenya itakuwa na kibarua chepesi sana kufanya kazi. But now unaona watoto wengi ambao wameachiliwa ndio wanakuwa, wana form zile magenge, wanafanya vitu vibaya. Na the government of Kenya si ati ina uwezo iko na uwezo. Maybe strategy. Unaona and i think uh, by the grace of god I, I, i am able to to do that with the government of kenya and through well wishes in front of you is Cynthia Mwende and Irene Weni ready to present to you an English scholar set verse class 1001H Kuja kuja nimesema kuja hapa Siji siji nimesema siji hapo This is the woman I married oh eh <laughs> and the civilized one Civilization for what my foot Nye 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 my foot Oh I will crush you Since when did I become a mokimo Oh I'm the head of this family and the director of this family I'm going back to my parents Oh yes you who will cook for me I don't know Who will take care of me I don't know Who will cook who will wash for me I don't know Oh yes you come back to me I have forgive you. People, People, God is the only one who answers our prayers. Seek and you'll find. Says the Lord. Thank you. Tulikuwa tunatumia sufuria moja ambayo tulikuwa tumepewa. Hiyo sufuria ndio ilikuwa inapika uji. Inapika gedheri, inapika ugali, inapika mchele. So lazima ukipika kama unapika ugali na, na, na unapika na mboga. Lazima kwanza upike mboga ndio upakuo itoe kando. Then after that ndio upike ugali na mnakula. Hivi ndio tulikuwa tunakaa hapa na my boys. Sasa tukakuwa sasa tuko hapa. Hiyo ndio kazi ya kila siku. Watoto wakaongezewa wakafika watoto saba. Hakuna shule, hakuna nini. Sasa nikasema zile siku ambazo nita miss kipata kibarua. Nitakuwa natembea around nikitafuta shule kama kuna mtu anaweza kukubali achukue watoto wangu au sponsor kwa shule yake. Nikaenda kwa shule za public nikakosa. Nikajaribu kwa sababu hii area ya shule za public ya few nikajaribu kutembea kwa shule za private schools pia wao watu walikuwa nashangaa nikiwaambia venye wanataka wachukue mtoto wa msomeshe free walikuwa anaichukulia ni kama hawajoisikia kitu kama hiyo but siku give up siku vunjika moyo nikaendelea by the grace of god siku moja nikapata mama mmoja nikamuelezea venye ninataka kusaidia watoto na wana shule then aka, akanunua idea yangu akaniambia hata yeye akona shule na angependa sana aweze kusaidia watoto kwa upande wa masomo. So mama ndiye alikuja akachukua watoto saba. Na mimi ile pesa nilikuwa nimeweka nime save kidogo ya kuosha manguo. Kwa hiyo hali tu ngumu. Nikaenda nikapima uniform pale gekomba. Nikapima uniform na watoto wakaingia shule. 2016 sasa. Hapo ndio nilikuja sasa nikiendelea kuosha manguo nini 
nikinunua madawa watoto wangu walikuwa na mashilingi kidogo saa nyingine unajua kitoto watoto kwa street kiwatoa huko wana my issues wengine wanatoka katika family ambazo kuna shida ya chakula nini hapo ndio nilijuana na my wife alikuwa akifanya kazi kwa duka moja hapa kitengela na hapo ndio sasa nikaanza kumchumbia tukajuana na yeye na siku moja nikamlete hapa akaona watoto na akafurahia akapenda kwa sababu yeye baba yake alikufa akiwa mtoto mdogo pia sasa aka aka aka, aka, nini, aka amua, tanishika mkono na later sasa tukakuja tukaoana tulipoana sasa nikakuwa ninamuacha hapa sababu hata pia alikuwa mgonjwa ninamuacha hapa alikuwa anasumbuliwa na e, kifua majina yangu naitwa Susan and hapa ndio mimi na ka ama mam na mimi ni mama wa watu wengi hata kama my biological kid is only one but hao wengine wote pia ni watoto wangu na kuwa mama lazima ni peane love ile yenye inatakana kwa mama kuwe ya kwamba kuna mtoto ako na ugumu wote ule lazima ni pass na nijue ni nini kinaendelea as a mother lazima kwanza ukuwe na plan set a plan lazima ujue kama ni wasichana you have to give them them some guidance na mpaka boys usiache boys wetu tunasema hao ni wavulana wao wezo wakames lazima kwanza u set up plan zako ujue kwamba kuna wakati wa kuwa na watoto na kuna wakati wa kupikia mzee na kuna wakati pia wa ku deal na wao kuonyesha hiki kinahitaji kufanywa hivi kinahitaji kufanywa hivi so lazima u set kwanza plan kuna wakati wasichana sana wanahitaji kwanza ku kuongeleshwa sana sana watoto wametoka different ways so kwa wale ambao maybe wamepitia mambo na kuripiwa kwa maybe kwa street maybe kuharashiwa na watu wakubwa kubwa vibaya vibaya lazima unachukua muda wako unaenda unakaa na wao unawapea guidance venye wewe ulipewa na mzazi wako na pia wakikuja hapa lazima wapatie ule upendo wa mama kuonyesha kwamba ukweli wewe ni mama ukweli yani ile ya kutoka rohoni kuonyesha kwamba wewe ni mama na lazima create friendship na wao pia sababu sipo pia create friendship watakao kuogopa na haitakuwa vizuri pia watakuwa watu wanaona ile sehemu walikuwa si msemu mzuri bado wameleta sehemu mbaya wamekuja kuteswa pia kwa wavulana pia lazima upitu uongee na wao lazima uulizie about venye maisha yenyu walikuwa nayo wakikuelezea kuna wenye wametupwa na bado wako na hiyo kitu iko ndani yao so usipowapatire upendo mtaona mbona sisi ametubagua hatuongeleshi Now many have hope in life and they are already showcasing their talents getting education and others have discovered themselves My name is Nicholas Ngege I am 17 years old I I I come from Moya In Moya I live with my grandmother because my parents started due to domestic conflicts and there in Moya I could go even for two weeks without going to school go for two days without eating I was doing my, I was doing work to pay for to pay for my school fees I used to work but God is faithful uh, I had a aunt who managed to communicate with Joshua and they made arrangements and I came here life here has not been so easy but God has been faithful uh, here when I came the house said no water the house said no electricity but God sent people and they came and they, uh, they did that work which you, which year was that the, the year was 2015 2015 August. Mm-hmm. Uh, from there my father Joshua had no had no school for his own so he went from school to school asking if 
his kit, his kids could be admitted, and by the process, he found a madam who admitted me. By then, I was in class five. The year 2016. Okay. Uh, now, I am in Form 1. Uh -huh. I learn in Kilemba Secondary School in Machakos County. Uh -huh. And the life is not so easy. Uh -huh. Here True. at Sprouting again, we have to pay for the electricity, uh -huh. to pay for the rent uh -huh. of the house. We have food, we have water, and other, uh, other needs. We also have some projects which we have to we have we, we need to have money so that we can make them come true. So we must know Nito? Nito Grace Lambia. No, well, okay, we're gonna make a gonna fifteen years. Fifteen years. So Grace uh younger woman at all class. You go class seven. You go class seven. Little Nanko Yang. Little Nanko. I tell you what you do with it. Okay. 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 So, we have to to the father Joshua Mutuko Mudengi, father introduced other activities for the children that not only keep them busy but also teach, empower and enable them to be self-thinkers. Such activity includes farming such as poultry and vegetables. So to kind of by the grace of God now 2016 Karibia Kusha. Maji liko issue kubwa maana nikitoka kuosha manguo huko nimechoka kabisa na kuja naenda kitu kama hapa kilomita kuchota maji nilete hapa tena eh huh? na nikishamaliza kuleta bado mimi ndio nitapika nioshe nyumba nyumba nilikuwa naosha usiku hii nyumba ndio asubuhi ni amke niende job alafu niache kama nimepikia watoto saa ingine nikiona nitaenda kazi itakuwa mingi na wapikia mpaka lunch naambia tu watafanya kupasha moto so mimi sasa sasa alipokuja katika maisha yangu akawa msaada mkubwa sana akawa ananishika mkono tuna anapika anawaoshea mimi namwacha na nikawa sasa nasikia at least kuna afueni kidogo kwa mambo ya hii ya, ya watoto my relationship ilianzia by the time nilikuja huko kitengela eh siko na hope because nina venye nilikuwa nimefanya vibarua some places kutoka nyumbani lakini nika venye sister yangu alikuwa ameolewa huko nikaona acha nikuje huko so nikawa nafanya kuna sehemu nilikuwa nafanya sehemu alafu huko ndiko tulikutana na Joshua by that time nilikuwa mgonjwa i was very sick alikuja akanipata si kujua even kama tuneza kutana that was god doing yes that was god doing ingaje at last nimekuja kukumbuka i dreamt about mimi nikiwa na watoto wengi sana so tukaendelea kuongea but i was not even serious siko najua kama ni mtu wako serious ana maybe anataka kunioa 
tukaendelea hivyo hivyo wakati mwingine anakuja bado ananipata huko siku nyingine akakuja akanipata nikiwa na mtoto mtoto wa sista yangu akaniambia kwani uko na mtoto nikamwambia yes nilimdanganya yes niko na mtoto lakini ni ile tu kudanganya maybe mtu one venye reaction yake itakuwa kumbe already yeye alikuwa ako na watoto by that time alikuwa na watoto kama tano ndio siku moja akanileta akaniambia hapa hawa ni watoto wenye nalea nilirudi nikastuka Unaitwa nani? Samuel. Unaitwa Samuel. Mm. Umesema unatoka wapi? Isiolo. Unatoka Isiolo. Mm. Nilikwanga huko Isiolo. Aha. Nilipenda kwa shule nikafukuza shule. Aha. Nikafukuza shule nikaenda kwa street. Aha. Nikaona mamangu ndiye anafanya nafukuza shule. Sasa mimi mwenyewe niliingia kwa street nikiwa na miaka 9. Sasa niko na hotel. Nikatoka kwa street hiyo street ya Isiolo. Nikakuja ya wakati tukio huko kwa street na Nairobi tulipatikana na mzee mwingine anaitwa Ankopita tuchukuliwa mimi nikaambiwa nitakujia yeye siku nyingine mimi nikaona sasa mimi sikitama tu kaniambia ni wafuate kwa kaingia kwa bus tama tu kitu tu mzuri kaniambia ni wafuate niingie kwa bus na mimi sikukuwa nikujia nikawafuata mbio nikaingia kwa bus conductor kaongeza Ankopita kama walikuwa na mimi Ankopita tu akapita akubalia juu yako kwa najua kama pia mimi ni kaingia huko kutoka huko tukaenda kwa kompyuta tukazoea huko sana tukaletwa huko na mshukuru kwenye tulikuwa hatukukuwa na falpa kulala na tumepata wazazi wazuri mwenye watakushughulikia shule na watakushughulikia malazi hakuna chochote ambacho tutakosa tukiwa hapa na ni Mungu ndiye amepanga hizo zote na tunashukuru unataka kuwa nani ukikuwa mkubwa bola kianzia watu wengi wa kuangi na ile wanakuwa kila kitu wana doubt wanakuona wewe ni mkora wanakuona wewe ni kama unatafuta pesa hapo hata mpaka siku unaoto taona wewe it's like you are there to make money you see people will never see your sacrifice people will always criticize you unaona na majority like 80% ni wale wanaonanga vitu negative mtu atakuja hapa aone venye watoto wameenda shule ambao walikuwa kwa street ataona hiyo Atona mimi bila kitu kidogo wewe unapata. But as time goes on hiyo Mungu anakufundisha anga unakuwa kwamba is not an issue to you. Ile kitu ya maana is focusing on what you are doing for God's glory. So tukaendelea tukaendelea na namba sasa ikafika eight something na watoto wote sasa wakawa wako shule. Um, and ile wakati sasa kumekuwa na issue ya corona as you know. Kumekuwa na challenge kubwa za chakula nini. tunataka wa kuwa experience ile maisha mazuri wa, nimewaambia kwamba wajua kwamba wao ni watoto kama wa president already kama venye mtoto wa president anezava venye anezataka kusoma hivyo ndivyo wanao wanatakana kujua kusoma zaidi na wapate hizo vitu vizuri na watakana kuwa wasafi kama venye watoto wa president wanaka wasikae sehemu chafu in front of you is Aaron Wendy from Sporting Against Reso ready to present you an English color set bus class 1 doesn't know the age names by Jinware everybody has a name some are different some the same some are short some are long how are right none are wrong i like my name it is special to me it is exactly who i want to be thank you Well, you have heard the stories, the journey from low to where they are at the moment. I have been your host, reporting for Sporting Against Children's Home International, 
My name is Jen Yashora and God bless you.